Hey you, my name is Thomas Tomscar Ridgewell and I am an inspiration to some people for some strange reason. The idea of creative inspiration fascinates me because it's not as simple as person one inspiring person two. No, if you are inspired by someone, you are likely the 10,000th person in an unending chain reaction of creative inspiration. An inspiration equation. Which kind of rhymes, I guess, I don't know. It all would have started a very, very long time ago with Person 1, who was probably a caveman. And Person 1 would have maybe made a little version of themselves out of sticks. A stick man, if you will. Which would have inspired Person 2 to maybe paint that person, that stick man, onto the wall of their cave. And then Person 3 was inspired to paint a stick man and a stick woman, and so on and so forth. And then thousands and thousands of generations of inspiration later, we get to you and me and the things that inspire us. It's a long equation. Anyway, this train of thought inspired me to jump back a step in my own inspiration equation and pay tribute to those who have directly inspired me. Because they're awesome. And I love them. And you should love them. <clears throat> Let's go. Number one, the comic artist Gary Larson. When I was 10 years old, I discovered his comic The Far Side and it taught me the basics of subverting expectations, the foundation of most comedy. I also ripped off the way he drew eyes to create my own original character, Tom. Number two, the artist and animator Tom Deslongchamp. A year later, I discovered his online animations and videos and decided that whatever that was, it's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And that's exactly what I did. Yay! I achieved my dreams at a really young age. Now I don't know what to do with myself. Number three, the late animator Ed Gould. Ed was a lot like Tom Des Longchamp, but less annoyed by me. He actually let me work with him, and through that I got invaluable experience writing and directing animation. I also totally ripped off his art style too to create my own original character, Tom. Another way that Ed inspired me as well was through his unadulterated passion for creation. He didn't care about money or status, he just wanted to make cartoons. Can't relate. I love money. Number four, the comedian and musician Bo Burnham. Bo started out on YouTube at roughly the same time as me, but has since grown into being an internationally successful stand-up comedian. His humor, his darkness, his struggles, his delivery, all of it resonates pretty hard with me, and basically he's just a dude. He's just a really cool dude. Number five, the multi-talented filmmaker Dominic Ferrer, the only person on this list younger than me. Puh. Not only did Dom directly inspire Ast's movie with his Laser Collection series, but he has also since grown into being one of the most talented filmmakers and storytellers of our generation. Basically, I ship it real hard. Mwah. Number six, writers and actors Brian McElhaney and Nick Kocher. These two are the minds behind the YouTube channel Britannic, and let me tell you, for me, they wrote the playbook on sketch comedy. Structuring, pacing, delivery, it's all just... Mwah, just mwah, 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 mwah. I love it so much. Number seven, writer and director Joss Whedon. I mean, come on. Firefly, Avengers, Dr. Horrible sing-along blog, fucking Toy Story, just... Ah! Ah! <laughs> Number eight, Pendleton Ward. Penn is the mind behind Adventure Time and Bravest Warriors, and he's just the master of creating these wonderfully insane worlds that are also incredibly dark and complex below the surface. Also, shout out to Adam Muto, Adventure Time's current showrunner, who, in my opinion, has only served to make the show even better. Yeah. Number nine, writer Dan Harmon, the creator of Community and co-creator of Rick and Morty. Big up Justin Roiland. Dan's work not only inspires me creatively, but also on a personal level. As a fellow chunky, angry drinker, he constantly reminds me that there's a place in the world for people like me still. And that's... A beautiful inspiration. Number 10, songwriter, word writer, and picture drawer, Rebecca Sugar. Not only is Rebecca responsible for some of the best, most musical moments of Adventure Time, but she also brought us Steven Universe, which is another show that is outwardly fun and vibrant, but with a deep and dark undercurrent. I, I, I really like that show. I do. I don't care what you think. Number 11, animator and series creator Alex Hirsch. Alex is the mind behind Gravity Falls, which is another big inspiration to me because of how it's this super fun, goofy show on the surface, but then it takes a super dark and unexpected turn, and that's exactly the kind of stuff that I want to make. Thank you for that show, good sir. Number 12, writers and directors Chris Miller and Phil Lord. Clone High, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, 21 and 22 Jump Street, the Lego movie, just... Ah, these guys are an unstoppable comedic force, and I... I just don't know how they do it. Teach me your ways. Please. 
Please! <laughs> Finally, the honorable mentions, the people who have inspired or influenced me in one way or another, but I don't have enough to say about. They are Rob Denblaker, Seth MacFarlane, Don Hertzfeld, Matthew Perry, Matt Groening, Matt Wilson, Chris Kendall, Fred Seibert, Garth Ennis, Dylan Moran, Edgar Wright, and Louis C.K. Oh, so those are the people who have had a pretty sizable impact on the way I go about doing the things that I do. At least, those are the ones that I can remember. I drink a lot. Now the question I have for you is, who are your inspirations and influences? Leave a comment, make your own video, just spread the love, or spread the love, however you want to say it. If you want to say words wrong, what's wrong with me? Whatever, I'll see you next time. Tom Scott, out. <laughs>